Okay, so I want to show you guys how I do my dog tags. And uh, so here's my blank. <clears throat> so my wife loves Disney, so let's do a Mickey Mouse. So I typed in Mickey Mouse SVG, and you can pick colored ones, but when you put it in Inkscape, you'll have to grayscale it before you turn it into a path. So we're going to choose images. And that looks good right there. So we'll download that. And we've already downloaded it. <clears throat> and we're just going to cancel that because I've already got it downloaded. Then we'll jump into Inkscape. And we'll take the Mickey, drop it in over here. And hold my shift down or my control and let's resize this a little bit and put that in the block. There we go. While it's highlighted, if you try it this way, it won't work. It has to be highlighted. Go to path, trace bitmap, and if it's already black and white, just hit apply. Okay, so now you hit this little guy, this shows you that that's the path. So the one under it, you can delete. Put this back over here, and that's it. That is ready to send to Fusion. So I'm just going to save as. And it's already there. We'll click that. Hit save, replace. And that's it. So now we have our tag here. I'm going to create a sketch right here and why Fusion turns it upside down I don't know. So we have a sketch on this plane now. I'm going to insert our SVG from my computer, Mickey. Hit OK or open and it's upside down. Nice. It's this little guy here just to scale it down a little bit and put it right there that's actually a little bit too big there we go so we're going to go with that hit ok all right so when it turns green it's locked and we don't it doesn't matter it can stay locked so i'm going to hit q for press pull And I have, yeah, I had two sketches turned on there. So I'm going to go through here and select these like so, individual. And we'll come in here and get the Hi. that looks pretty good so then I only have to make it like a thou let's say three thousandths tall just enough to get it out of sketch mode because what happens is there's a lot of little bitty tiny dots and you actually want a, a full complete path so join is fine so when that finishes it looks like it's gone, but if I rotate it, you can see that it's just barely off the surface. Okay. So now let's go to manufacture. <clears throat> and this is sort of a template that I already have set up. So each time you can see the previous operation. Well, in this Mickey operation, we're not going to use the parallel infill. We're just going to do the trace. We'll right click and edit. It says missing operation, uh, missing reference. That's because it's a different file. We'll hit yes. Now we'll go to the contour section. And I just want to highlight the things that I want to engrave. So we might have to turn on the sketch just to. So we can see it a little better. 
So we'll do the outline. Yeah, that took. Okay, do the face. Do this part of the eye, this part of the eye, this part. Okay, the hand, sleeve, tongue. Everywhere that we're selecting, the drag bit's going to outline. Okay. Almost done. That's about it. Okay. We'll just hit OK. Now when you're doing these, you have to be careful. Let me go back to the sketch. On the tolerance, I like to set the tolerance way down and it will make it a little bit crisper. So the higher this number is, the more jagged the lines will be. So we can make this 001. So if you get some small details, you'll probably have to do that. So let's simulate and see did it get everything. I got no warnings here. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll close that. So the one other thing I want to check is here on the setup. I'm going to edit this setup. Okay, it's only set to do one tag. So we want to do 20 of these. So we're going to select multiple. Now your setup will probably have zero here. Make sure you set it at one if you're going to do multiples. So we're going to do 20. We'll load the dog tag fixture up and cut 20 of these. So when I hit this, you'll note we only have one file here. So what it's going to do is it's going to copy the G code 20 times. And I'll show you that just a minute before we go to the machine. So I'm just going to right click this one. If I right click the post here, it's going to give me a note saying that, hey, this one's got an error. So I'm only going to right click the engraving. And we're going to post the process. So we're at Mach 3. Make sure we're on the right Mach 3. Yep. And then this will be Mickey 2, because I have another one. All right, let's make sure we're going to the machine. USB storage. My shop. Cut files. Actually, let's go back. Drop it in drag bit engraving. And, uh, yep. Select folder. Mickey 2. Everything looks good here. And we'll hit post. Alright, so what I want to do now is I'm actually going to navigate to that folder so I can show you the, if I click that, that popped up, we'll actually see it in uh, a different editor. I don't want to use that. Rick Shop, Drag Bit Engraving, Mickey. <clears throat> okay, so this is where you're going to see we do Mickey 2. So I got a one and a half thousand chamfer mill, so it's actually a drag bit. And you'll see in the G-code, S1, speed is going to be 1 RPM. We're not going to turn it at all. Okay. Then G54 is right there. So let's search. I'm going to G5. You see, there's G55. This code that's above this has been copied again. Same thing right here. Over and over 20 times. So all of these GP9, P7, 8, 9, 10, these are our uh, offset work fixture that's on Mach 3. So that's it. Basically, we'll take this file and load it into, the, into Mach. We'll set our origin and set our Z height and cut 20 of these. I want to show you that being done. Okay, let's hop over to the CNC machine. Okay, we're in the shop now, so I wanted to show you the layout. So we're just doing some uh, test tags for my wife to give away. And I wanted to show you the tool we're going to be using, which is already in the spindle. 
is from rdzengraver.com. Okay, this is the 45 degree tool and we're gonna do our engravings here. And I've got this high tech tool to pop them out of the fixture, which is a nail. So there's our 20 tags. I want to show you here on mock if you go to config and fixtures here's my fixture table which has all of the entries in it and these are in millimeters because the motors are tuned in millimeters okay though that fixture table has the location for every one of these Typically, you would home your machine and you would set your G54 out right here, 55, 56, 57, and so on. But I'm going to run this with that fixture table without a home to machine. And the way I do it is when you fire the machine up, it thinks that that's home. So make sure your spindle's all the way up and get it dead center of the part before you actually start mock, which is what I did. So I'm gonna turn the controller box on, which is loud, <coughs> and enable the e-stop. And let's click there. So let's load the G-code, Mickey. you'll see that it loads the tag in 20 positions. Now for sanity's sake, what you need to do next is to bring the bit down, get your paper. Bring it down till it just touches. Actually, it's pretty good there. Let's go up just a little bit. And since it's a spring-loaded bit, all right, that's pretty good. Since it's a spring-loaded bit, we're going to lie and we're going to tell it that it's 25 thou above so that when it runs the program, it'll compress the bit 25 thou. So I come up here and I go 0 0.025, hit OK. And now it says it's zero, it says it's 25. <clears throat> when you go back to your fixtures, this is the number, 94.299. You wanna copy this in every one of these tables. That way, the heights will be the same on all the fixtures. So I'm gonna do that right quick and then we will run the program. Okay, so I've copied this number on all of these, and we should be ready to go now. So I'm gonna hit save, close. All this is ready to go. Our table is ready to go. We have our air assist, so you'll hear the pump running, which will just blow the, um, the dust off of them while it's engraving. So we're gonna hit cycle start. It's gonna come up. So that's the tool change. If you have a large production run, you can actually go in and change it on mock to ignore tool changes. So we hit start. G54, here comes G55. It's going to do the same thing 19 more times.
So there we go, there's all 20 tags. Let me shut the e-stop and turn the box off. There we go, that's a lot better. So we had a total of 17 minutes and 37 seconds to do 20 tags. And feed rate was 39.4 inches a minute. Preload on the bit was 25 thou. And there we go, there's the result. If you know of another way to do 20 tags or more, or any, if you know any way to do more than 10 tags with a, a software, let me know. Because right now, the other software that I'm trying out will not do it. So far, I have to use Mach 3 or Mach 4 to enable myself to do these tags. So, leave me a comment below. And let me know if you know of another software, maybe like VCar Pro or whatever. I just don't want to get into like a six, seven hundred dollar software. I would like to explore the possibilities of anything else that could do this. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you would uh, hit the subscribe button down below, and we'll see you later.